Shalom, my name is Irina Lian. I'm a new faculty member at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. My name is Zakaria Nairuch. I was born and raised in Jerusalem. My name is Gali Umschweif. I'm a new faculty at the School of Pharmacy. My name is Abdel Fattah Mansour. I was born in the old city of Jerusalem. My name is Moran Frankel Pinter, and I'm a new assistant professor in the Institute of Chemistry. In my work, I study plasmodium parasites. These are the organisms that cause the malaria disease. I'm working on next generation batteries that will be safer long-lasting and friendly to the environment. My work uh, challenges me to be complexity thinker and innovative all the time. My research is using the past to understand the future, in particular droughts, and how they happened in the past and how they might happen again in the future. I'm a microbial ecologist, uh, which means I study microbes and how they're distributed in nature. I focus mostly on plant microbe interactions. In our project in Armenia, we are collaborating more than 25 researchers in order to understand the past life ways of hunting animals. It's very hard to seek quantum states. Usually they're buried in the noise. What we're doing is we're trying to see the quantum state directly so that we may use it for quantum technologies. I build a new field at the Hebrew University, the digital humanities and I develop new computational analysis techniques for the service of law, humanities, and social sciences. We are bringing chemistry and biology together to create a unique piece of work that will contribute to the medicine of tomorrow. And what's special about nuclear physics is working in large facilities and large collaborators and working with uh, cutting-edge technologies worldwide. As an anthropologist, I conduct ethnography, which includes fieldwork, interviews, and content analysis and it's a way to capture people's subjectivity and the ways they really feel about what they do in the world. In my research, I'm trying to highlight a phenomena which is often overlooked. By doing that, hopefully, we all take responsibility as a society for the creation of a better world. My work is about three main things. Uh, it's about research about Korean uh, modern society. It's about educating young people interested in Korean history and culture. And it's about contributing to the wider Israeli public about Korea. Leadership is having a clear vision and goals and have the capacity to have others follow you in this journey. Training, taking responsibility, and to try to guarantee success of my communities. Leadership is about inspiring the people that you work with, to help them, to support them, and direct them to become better in the future. I see leadership as a form of care, a way of caring and taking care of the well-being of others and not just oneself. I try to encourage young scientists and students to find their own questions that are interesting for them and not necessarily for myself. Building a new field of digital humanities and training the scholars of the future, that's for me the leadership of tomorrow. I see leadership as responsibility, taking responsibility for people around us, the world we live in, and moving the world and humanity forward uh, towards a better society. Being the best example for my students so they can become the best researchers. To me, leadership is inspiring motivation and scientific curiosity. And as a mentor to students and people that I work with, I really want to see the spark of curiosity and open-mindedness. Leadership in my eyes is bringing together 25 people from different backgrounds to a common goal, to set a common goal and achieve it. To collaborate, to identify the unique skill in each of us, and to synthesize that into the best recipe. Leadership is the unique combination uh, between genuine enthusiasm and not being afraid to fail. I provide my students with the knowledge and the tools to create opportunities to succeed as future leaders. The leadership of tomorrow is really about providing thought leadership, new ideas, fresh ideas, and it's also about inspiring young scientists to go out into the world and to make it a better place.